Hello, middle two. Now we're gonna explain lesson two wave motion. As we saw, wave motion is one of the kind of periodic motion. If you throw a stone in the water, circles is made. So we can also explain the wave motion in the domino arrangement. When the arrangement domino from each other, when hat the first one, the energy is transferred to all dominoes. So what's meant by wave? Wave is disturbance that propagate and transfer energy in the direction of propagation. Activity to show the concept of wave motion. Number one, fix a, cl a glass tube horizontally. Number two, put a burning candle at one end. Number three, tap of turning fork and put it close to e each other near to incense stick. So we can observe the flame of candle vibrate and the smoke of incense stick doesn't enter to the tube piece. A molecule don't move with the sound wave through the tube and the sound wave transfer energy from vibrating tonic fork to the candle flame. That means when energy transferred from one side to another, the molecule don't move. The molecule don't move. So we can conclude the wave is disturbance that propagate and transfer energy in direction of wave propagation. So we can classify the wave motion into ability to propagate and transfer energy and direction of vibration of medium particles. So according to the ability to propagate and transfer energy, we can classify into mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave. And according to direction of vibration of medium particle, we can classify into transfer wave, transverse wave and longitudinal. So, according to the ability to propagate, what's the difference between mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave? Mechanical wave, they need medium to propagate through, and they are transfer or longitudinal, and have relatively speed, like a water and sound. So, when the energy transfer need a medium like solid, liquid, gas. Another one, electromagnetic wave they don't need a medium to propagate through and they are transverse wave and have relatively high speed like a light wave and radio wave so it's a don't need solid or gas or liquid to transfer it's to reach us without material according to the ability direction of particles vibration number one activity to show transverse wave to show the transverse wave, we need to fix one spring to the wall and tie colored tape in the middle of a spring and move free end of a spring up and down, up and down. So we can absorb the ring of spring move up and down, forming crest and trough, crest and trough. Again, when move up and down, the ring of spring move up and down, forming crest and trough. Number two, the color tab vibrate down forming crest and trough and the particle of medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. Again, when move my hand up and down, this is perpendicular to the direction of the, the spring, to the direction of a spring. So we can conclude transverse wave consists of crest and this high point in transverse wave and trough. This is the lowest point in transverse wave. And during the wave propagation medium particle, don't transfer from their position, but they only vibrate in the, the same place. And the disturbance in which medium particle vibrate perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation, that's called transverse wave.
question. And the conclusion longitudinal wave consists of compression and radio functions. And the during wave propagation medium particles don't transfer through position but only vibrate around its original point. And the disturbance in which medium particle vibrate along the direction of wave propagation is called wave motion. And the application for wave motion is jacuzzi. It's a tube where water moves in the form of circular wave that's used for treatment sprains and cramps by using hot water and treating for nervous tension by cold water. And the process of wave motion, we have number one, wavelengths. Wavelengths for transverse wave and wavelengths for longitudinal wave. What's meant by wavelengths is the distance between two center of successive. If we talk about the transverse wave, it's a distance between center of two successive crest or distance between two successive trough. When distance, it's a distance between two successive crest or two trough, it's called wavelengths. And when we talk about the longitudinal wave, it's a distance between two center of two successive compression or it's a distance between two successive radiofactions. Number two, amplitude. The maximum displacement made by medium particles away from rest position. And the measuring unit is centimeter or meter. So the maximum displacement done by medium particle away from original point, away from fixed point is called amplitude. Number three, wave velocity. It's a distance covered by wave in one second. Measuring unit meter divided second or meter per second. So we can calculate by V equal distance in meter divided time in second. So we can note wave velocity is constant through the same medium, but when move from medium to another is different. Like a sound wave in air equal 340 meter per second. In water equal 1500 meter per second. In wood equal 1850 meter per second. Number four, wave frequency. It is the number of wave produced in one second. Measuring unit is hertz. And we can calculate by Frequency equal number of complete wave divided time in second. So as we said before, frequency is opposite for periodic time. So the, it's a time of one complete wave. It's calculated by periodic time equal one over frequency or time divided number of complete wave. Time divided number of complete wave. Law of wave propagation. It's relation between velocity, frequency, and wavelengths. V equal F times lambda. And velocity equal frequency times wavelengths. We need wavelengths, a velocity divided frequency. We need frequency, velocity divided wavelengths.